Hello guys, my name is Aaron 55 here, and today we're going to be discussing an AMD budget build. This is like the fifth time I'm trying to record this. I keep getting interrupted or just didn't like it or the, it gets too long. So we're going to try to get through this as quick as possible because my upload speed is bullcrap. Anyway, first we're going to need a case for this. Now it's an AMD APU system, no graphics card. Anyway, we're going to use a Rose, uh, Rosewheel Micro ATX Mini uh, computer case, and this one comes with a power supply of 450 watt. I recommend that after you get your system up and running, save up a, a wee bit more money and buy a Corsair power supply that it, uh, has the certification bronze, silver, gold, don't care. <laughs> anyway, that way you know it's efficient and everything. Uh, next, you're going to need a board to put everything on. We're going with an MSI A58 and the E33 micro ATX board. It, is, it has an FM2 socket, and it is the it has the AMD A58 chipset, DDR3 memory support, uh, PCI, uh, PCIe Gen, uh, Gen 3 1x16, Gigabit LAN, VGA, HDMI, DirectX 11, and RAID support. Whew! Anyway... <laughs> Next, we're going to need a processor. We're going to need an AMD Athlon uh, 760K Richland 3.8 gigahertz 100 watt processor with a FM2 socket, obviously. And uh, next, we're going to need some RAM Kingston HyperX Fury 4 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz DDR3 CL10 DIM. Beauty in blue because the blue is the cheapest one. They're all the same, but for some reason the blue is a dollar cheaper. And do not get and you can choose between any of the colors. Don't care except for the black one. The black one's forty five dollars because it is a different one. It will work on the board, but it is a different one and and it's somewhat better. I don't know how. Next we're going to need a hard drive. We're going with a Western Digital Green one terabyte desktop hard drive, three point five inch SATA three sixty four megabyte cache and uh, it's a great drive it's efficient because you know it's green ha <laughs> ha very funny next we're going to need a optical drive I mean you can't run an operating system without an op optical drive unless you put it on a flash drive we're going to need a light on super all right 24x SATA DVD rewritable dual layer drive and this one says bulk ooh it costs yeah, I actually I'm going to tell you the cost later now, right, we got through all the main parts. Now we need the software to run it. Our operating system. Here we go. Our operating system is either going to be Windows 7 or Windows 8. For me, personally, I'm going with Windows 8.1 System Builder OEM DVD 64-bit. And uh, this one is $92, and I personally love Windows 8. At first, I thought I hated it and wanted 7, and then I realized there's apps, and, like, I wanted this and that and blah, blah, blah. And I real and then I realized I want to transfer my data from my current Windows 8 computer to the next. I, I, I It gets all confusing, but main main thing is I want Windows 8.1, so that's what we're going to put into the price. But mainly Windows 7 is about 100 bucks, just like this. Now, uh, let's go over the prices. The case with the 450-watt power supply, the Rosewell case, costs $39.39. And 39, or excuse me. It's $39.99. $39.99. Next, our motherboard is not sold by Amazon. It is sold by another company that put it up on the site. And uh, it's from PC Rush Outlet. And it is $51.00 around there there's extra cents and everything anyway next the processor our AMD Adlon 760k Richland 3.8 gigahertz 100 watt uh, processor cost about $79 just a wee bit above that but not $80 you know anyway so um, next our RAM is $38.99 3899 our our one terabyte hard drive is fifty one dollars and our optical drive is eighteen forty nine our operating system windows eight is ninety two dollars and I think that is all the prices so when we add this up all right drum roll please but a bit a bit a bit a bit a bit a bit the price of this computer 
adding all of the pennies and quarters and everything to the price makes it come out to exactly $370.82. You're probably thinking, dang, man, that's good. I like, Literally, when uh, the last time I was at Sam's Club, I saw a HP Pavilion laptop with an A6 in it and the standard graphics and everything, and it was $399.99. You didn't think you'd be able to get this very amazing system for this cheap. Now, you got to remember the prices. They always change, okay? Now, uh, yeah, the prices are constantly changing, but expect it to be around the $370 range, and don't expect it to ever go above $400. So, thank you guys for watching, and if you liked it, Smash that like button with your, I don't know, uh, ears, face, p fist, uh, I don't know. But, uh, and I will see you, my compadre amigos, in the next video.